beautiful shoes. Like she's a freaking Katie. Naturally, I come into a makeup and skincare store. Now we're gonna go to a pasta making class. Yep. Hey guys, happy June 3rd. It is Sunday and today I'm going to meet Taylor and probably some other friends back at the school. Um, we're going to go to, I think, the Da Vinci Museum and then after that I don't really know what we're going to do but I don't know. I feel like I just want today to be like a chill day because I've been like go, go, go and haven't gotten like any rest. Today I got to sleep in which was so nice like literally i feel so much better um i got home like super late last night like at 12 uh because i had to take like the train from venice to rome then the bus to termini to the host family so it was a lot but i'm so proud of myself because the transportation is really what makes me super duper nervous because i feel like especially the buses are a little bit unreliable so I never know like what when I'm actually gonna get home like even though it says it in the app like it could be late or like yesterday morning it could pass you because you don't know to wave it down. Getting lost is just like what makes me like really really nervous. So I'm really proud of myself because I did it like pretty much on my own. But I just wanted to come here and talk to you guys because I feel like every part of the vlog is just like me moving which is good because like sometimes this is boring but just wanted to give you like a little quick update so it is sunday so i got here last sunday so it's officially like my first week whole week is done it honestly went by really fast usually like when i travel abroad it kind of goes slow which is like good and bad but sometimes more bad for me because i get homesick more often whenever i traveled abroad with my family i actually got homesick more which is so weird but i feel like the reason for that is that we always traveled like during the holidays um, like New Year's Eve I like was never home to hang out with my friends and like you know I would get FOMO but like I feel like since nothing's really going on back home like I'm like enjoying my time here I'm also surprised I'm not getting like super tan which I'm very happy about because I don't know if you're brown you would like understand but like Indians don't really love to get tan like they like to stay fair funny story I don't know if I've told you guys this before but my grandpa from India he brought me to the states like this fair and lovely lotion like it's literally called fair and lovely and it's supposed to make you like lighter i don't think that shit works so that's just an example of like indians being crazy and like wanting to stay fair but i'm really happy i'm not getting super tan because i feel like if i was like looking really tan i feel like i would limit myself to explore per day which sounds stupid but i just really don't like being in the sun it's just not my thing <laughs> But also Italy streets are really shady because the buildings are so tall, not the main roads, but like the little back streets. So that's kind of nice being in the shade, you know, it makes it 10 times cooler. I'm definitely excited to go back home, but I was thinking like it's going to be so weird and different going back home. Like the architecture is so different. And so when I go back home, I'm going to be like, oh, what is this? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, every city has like their beautiful architecture. And I honestly thought I don't really like traditional stuff as much as I do modern stuff, which we have back in the States. But I mean, Italy is like beautiful. So like, how could I not like it, you know? So I think I'm gonna pack up my purse and get going. I forgot to max fix plus, gotta spray that. <laughs> Let's get on with the day. So we went to a supermarket, got something to eat really quick, and now we are at the Leonardo da Vinci Museum. <laughs> this is a pasta maker kind of thing. Oh, it actually works. This machine is used to just squeeze olives, apparently. Yeah. This is cool. It has like a holographic of the flying machine, I think it's called. Here is the famous painting, The Last Supper, but unfortunately this is not real. So we got out of the museum and we were actually window shopping before and I saw a wallet that I wanted to get Ryan um, near Piazza Novena or like in the back streets of it. So we're gonna go back there and actually get it. Like it was a little bit expensive, but I wanna splurge because it was actually a really nice wallet. So. What the heck, I walked all the way back and they're closed. 
she'll be back soon. Guess we're gonna wait. So we're in this really cute side street and I decided to have a little photo shoot. <laughs> and so we are gonna do that. By the way, my romper is from Forever 21. I have a um, Italy haul up already, so I will link that in the description below as well as this outfit. So you guys can check it out yourself. It's time to take a Polaroid. while I'm getting Ryan and it's really cool. So it's made in Italy. So I was on my way home and I passed by the shoe store and bag store of course. I literally get pulled in by all these beautiful bags here but then I came across these beautiful shoes. They're so cute. I've been wanting them forever. And they're the perfect color and I, I'm going to get them. They're 25 euros so that's like pretty affordable I feel like because Steve Madden's are like so expensive. So these are going to be perfect. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It is June 5th and I didn't really vlog all that much yesterday because I'm just trying to relax a little bit. So I might not vlog as much as I did last week. Um, it really just depends on like what I end up doing. Personally, I feel like I did like a lot of the sightseeing that I wanted to do like the main sites and you know the cute little neighborhoods I'm pretty sure I saw like majority of it so now I just want to go a little bit slower just because it has been a lot of walking and it has been exhausting because I'm still jet lagged I get so sleepy and the sun drains me and I don't know so I just really want to like come back home after class and just like chill um, but today I'm going to go shopping with Alessandra. She is um, the daughter of the host family. And then we're going to go get sushi. She asked me if I like sushi and I was like, I literally freaked out. Like, I was like, yes, I love sushi. So we decided to get sushi and we're going to do that today. I probably won't vlog much in class, but I'll definitely vlog afterwards. My OOTD is this shirt from Forever 21. It's like a crop top. And then I have this little belt that I was trying to make another hole, but I don't really have anything that sharp, so I couldn't do it. It's a little loose on me, but whatever. And then this jean skirt is from American Eagle. And yeah, and then my sunglasses are keys. I literally brought my whole sunglass collection. Like, I am so extra. I brought like every single key I own. So I made it to school. It's currently 8.42 and class starts at 9. And again, I'm the first one here. I always like to get here early. I literally fell asleep on the train. But good thing I had my headphones in. So the movement app like tells you when you have to get off. So thank God for that because I'm, I'm just too tired. So we just had three classes and we're on to our next one. But we just had like a lunch break. So we just got some stuff in the market really fast. But I met Allison and guess what she's wearing? A KD shirt, like she's a freaking KD, isn't that so cool? Hi, I'm Allison. I am from Denver, Colorado, but I go to Pace University. I'm in the KD 8 Iona chapter. And I'm here in Rome for two months. So after class, I came straight home because I know I needed a nap, I'm so, freaking tired like oh my gosh i just needed to sleep now it is about 6 30 and we are gonna go get sushi and shopping i didn't eat much just so i would like leave a lot of space for sushi just arrived at the mall it's called Yoroma due what are some of your favorite stores here um i think zara zara yeah and we have that in america yeah that's a good one Naturally, I come into a makeup and skincare store. This is Espadrille Heaven. All right, guys, let's do a little fitting room haul, try on haul kind of thing. This is a cami, and I love this type of like lingerie look. I don't know why I do, but I just think it's like so classy. Right now, my skirt is really lumpy at the top, like it's just not fitting right. So it's like, it looks weird, but I think with like jeans or like white jeans, it would look so cute. So I think I'm gonna get it, it's like 12 euros, 13 euros. All right, next up is this see-through yellow top. I honestly think it's super cute and I really would wear it to like a tailgate or something. I just don't know how I would wear it. That's the only problem because it's literally see-through and like I guess I could wear like a little bandeau like I'm wearing now, like a black one. But I don't know, it just like takes away from the whole thing, so I don't know. Times like these, I just really need a stylist. So this is a Zara Basic, it's just a black tee. Nothing really special, but I don't know. I feel like it fits really well. 
it's like really flattering and it's so soft and I feel like if I was outside it would be like light and airy. Alright, next up is this shirt and it's so like, I don't know, it just reminds me of like Italian style. Super laid back, like the like linen kind of feel. Um, I don't know, I've been kind of looking for this type of shirt. So I feel like I want to buy it, but I also wanted like a plain white one. So guys, we are currently at dinner. We came to a sushi restaurant, and I've never been to this kind of a sushi restaurant. It's like the ones where they have it on the conveyor belt. And basically, you just like take whatever you want, and you pay like 16 euros, and you can eat whatever you want. This is a dream. <laughs> We ended school at like 120-ish, and now we're gonna go to a pasta making class. Yeah, to que pasta. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what it's called, right? Yeah, que pasta. And this is Anna, and then this is Jackie. Jackie's from Switzerland. Anna's from Hungary. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna go make pasta. My first time doing it. What about you guys? This is my second. Time. Oh okay. Did you do it with? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Wait, do you get to pick like your own pasta or like? Different kinds or whatever. No, everyone it's just like does, one. Yeah, the, the same, same. But you can just mix it and then cut it and. Uh, okay, okay. Guys, this is about to turn into some pasta. Noi l'abbiamo solamente cucinata perché voi non avete visto quando abbiamo fatto la pasta, l'abbiamo fatta seccare, eccetera. Oggi vi facciamo vedere come arrivare dalla farina con un uovo alla pasta che poi mangiamo insieme. Ah. E fate un vulcano. Non avete preso la farina anche così. Ho fatto il fisso. A me è mai un po' Cucina anche la pasta. Dai, dai. Dai, dai, forza. Yep. Our pasta is made. 